Peace, peace. Sali. And we're up to the last single digit in this long life path series. Um, before I go into the life path number nine, if you have not seen a video, what is the life path number? Make sure to check that one out before watching this one because there's information in that video I'm not going to repeat in this one. So from this point on, I'm assuming that you know you are a life path number nine and this video is all about you. So number nine, just look at nine as the last number. It represents completion. But when you look at the numbers one through nine, nine is the last number, obviously. And when you look at the nine, the way it's looped, it's looking back. It's looking back. So you are naturally a person that looks back into history and more so into your personal history. It's not uncommon for people because in numerology, some people consider like the nine the old soul. As an occultist, as a metaphysician, an old soul can incarnate with any number. And it's, it's very hard to say, oh, you're a nine, so you're an old soul. That's, that's erroneous. But what is common, with it being a nine and looking back, usually you look back, most people look back because there's something that happened that was not um, positive. We very rarely look back and appreciate the great times. We usually look back and, and kind of uh, put a magnifying glass over things that happened that weren't advantageous to us. So it's not uncommon for you as a nine to maybe have like a little bit more difficult childhood. Not saying all the time, but more times than not. Um, usually it's, um, you had something in your childhood where it was hard for you to let go, okay? Because that nine likes to look back. And also with the nine embodying all the other numbers, it gives you a sense of uh, like, sort of like a superiority complex according to other people. You would call that confidence that you have experiences in different areas. So, just what I recommend is that you, when people are telling you that maybe that you act like a know-it-all or that you feel like that you know the best way for to do things, that may be true to a certain extent. But it takes people that have gone through things, that have experienced things, that can help people. Because the highest essence of the number nine is the humanitarian because the humanitarian number once again it looks back so it has to give back you can only reduce from number nine you can add something but it's going to take it to a double digit so nine has a lot more to give away so it's not uncommon for you to be attracted to charities donating things or just helping people helping people that you know in your family or your friends nothing wrong with that also, nine is very much a counselor. Once again, going back to what I said, nine experienced a lot, so nine has a lot to talk about and to share and to help other people deal with. In astrology, nine is associated with Mars, the planet Mars. Mars is an aggressive planet. So, once again, it's not uncommon for you to want to give back, want to help people, but more so a kind of, of an aggressive nature. Not good or bad depends on the person you're dealing with but you see it as you have this energy you want to help people so you sort of go for it you know where somebody else may second guess it doubt it maybe think too much about it you're like okay this is what we need to do we need to go do this let's get a cracking you feel like you can do it let's go let's do it and once again there's nothing wrong with that but you want to balance um, making sure that when you do what you do for other people that they know it's coming from your heart once people to get to know you, and this was with any number, this is common sense. Once people get to know you and see where your true motives are, then they'd be like, okay, they do have my best interests at heart. But it does give you an aggressive approach to life, ruled by that Mars. And like I said, nine contains all the numbers. So don't downplay your knowledge, don't downplay your experience. Just accept it and help other people with that information. So this has been Ali. This has been my video on the life path number nine. If you want to find out more information about numerology or to set up a consultation, make sure to visit our website, thirdeyeactivation.com. Until next time, peace.